Hey guys, welcome back to more AFK Arena. In today's video, we are checking out the Maxed Out Awaken Beta. Now, first of all, I did do summons for this guy on Kiasma's account. We had horrible rates. Unfortunately, my mic was like broken and it was sounded like I was a robotic just freak so i couldn't upload the video unfortunately but don't worry you didn't miss much we had horrible rates on this guy we were below two percent which really sucked but hey we have him now unfortunately in this resolution his name is covering his face which kind of sucks but we could always go ahead and no let's not worry about it but basically i want to talk about this guy because i really like him um at high deficits he struggles for the survival side. So he's got his doppelgangers, as I like to call them, um, you know, his wooden versions of himself that give him a cheat death. The problem is at high deficits, normally that thing just gets one shot and then he gets one shot. And it's like, it doesn't like give him enough time to ramp up and get another doppelganger out. Um, and that is the issue. However, I think he's got a very strong niche against healing enemies. Um, I think he works fantastic against healing enemies. Um, the way that he can basically convert healing into damage uh, is pretty solid and I'll show you this replay that I just did. We're fighting against an enemy with Nomura and also um, and Taylene. Now the problem is a lot of the heals in the game are heals over time so it doesn't apply to heal over time so it's a bit frustrating in that sense but nonetheless I think he's got that very niche spot in end game. I feel like if you're not at, like okay so for instance here Kiasma we are in a campaign stage and we are at a 428 level deficit so it's obviously going to be harder for him to shine but when we look at him next to a Grizzul who's dealing 1.29 trillion damage and he's still getting 636 billion it's not too bad considering we know how well the grizzle can scale now i think he's best like these he works really well in a grizzle team now i think you'll be able to work him into teams without grizzle specifically so he doesn't have to be there and just like you know take him into other teams against healing enemies but at this like 400 and whatever level deficit we're at on kiasma um you kind of need to play to your strengths. You can't like, at this deficit, you can't like just play around with random stuff and make it work. Uh, yes, at lower deficits, you, we could like at sort of like two to 300 deficit, but once you're above 400, it's a bit tough. But honestly, this works really solid, solid secondary damage. Um, and normally this type of team, you'd have like a Mortis in here. So even he's freeing up Mortis to go into another team who's a very valuable hero nonetheless. So bit niche at high deficits, I think. Once again, it's very early testing. So I'll have to wait and see, but all in all, pretty decent. So I wanted to show you guys this replay. And obviously, because we have the new Wilder Chick, who I always butcher her name, so I'm not even going to try. Uh, but her buffing the summoned units when we have Awakened Solus, Grizzul, and also Baden in there, you're really optimizing her effects uh, on her buffing of the summoned units because she's got so many there that she can um, bring those benefits to. So honestly, this is a really solid team core for this higher deficit. But like I said, you get away with more flex units at lower deficits. But if you watch the way I, I was talking too much, but the, the Nomura absolutely melts. And basically anything that Grizz that uh, Baden starts attacking um, and puts the debuff on, they just start melting because as soon as they try to get healed, they're taking damage instead. They can't stay topped off and you just absolutely shred them. Um, now, in this one, we don't have him for his, uh, his whatchamacallit skill. His is not active, but as you can see, look at that. As the tailing drops, that Cirrus, who normally does really well surviving, just took a, such a massive, massive chunk of damage. But I'm pretty sure I did have uh, the Solus's ability active here. And tailing is a really good one for him to go against because tailing can die, you can focus another enemy, put the debuff, then Taylene tries to heal when she comes back and she basically one shots that enemy and you basically just recycle through that. Like I said, this one had the Nomura as well. It didn't really matter because we killed the Nomura super quick. Um, but yeah, these three that are left in the battle have such a strong synergy together um, and I really do like them. But if I had to guess, I, I if I had to put a... Um, say something about it i'd say he's definitely probably not the best awakened hero at this type of deficit but he's still incredibly useful in the right situation and when you're pushing like this like where kiasma's account is you're you're looking for niche stuff not um you know 
you're not looking for, uh, you know, just whatever you want to throw in. You're looking for those niche things to fill in roles in the good teams that are already good. And honestly, he fits in super well into this Grizzle style team. Now we can jump over into tower and have a look in tower. Because like I said, the campaign uh, deficit there is getting quite hectic. Um, if we go over here, what's the deficit here? 11.45. Yeah, so we're about a 300 level deficit here. So this is more manageable. So once again, in this Olna Grizzle type team, he's going to work pretty decently. This one's going to have that. Let's go ahead and see if they've got any healing teams here. Because I feel like the healing is where he really shines. Countering healing. Unfortunately, this team doesn't have anything we can look at for countering healing. You know, let's just bounce back. Uh, let's go back to campaign and see if we can find another one. But honestly, like campaign at the moment, even that team, it took me about like six retries to get it to work uh, just because the, you know, the deficit. So let's take a look. So that was the one we were on. We can jump over here. No heals, no heals and no heals. So unfortunately, we don't have anything else. Like I said, if, if there's not a healer, I, I don't think he warrants putting in at this deficit. So let's just jump back over to the tower again. Sorry, I'm going all over the shop. And we'll just chuck him into a team and uh, and get a vibe. We'll, let's go over here and we'll, and we'll see what we think. So over here, let's just throw him in. So I don't really want to use Ulna... Grizzle. Although against this kind of team, you kind of have to. Let's see this. What's this one? Now, I wonder if he's going to be good. Okay, this is something I actually kind of want to test. So let's go ahead and test this. Obviously, we're using the Aziz there. Um, but what we can test is if we put him against something like an Athalia. This was a theory I had early on. So let's test this because I haven't tested it yet. Where is he? There he is. Because he instant ults, one, does he avoid Athalia? Or two, does it not matter because he just comes back in his clone and then he can go again? So that's what I'm curious to see out of this one. Let's just actually put that same solid team in. Um, let's put you in there. We won't put Awaken Solace because, you know, we'll, 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 we don't want to cheese too hard with that. Kind of want to put Awaken Solace. But let's just do this. Let's just see what happens here. Okay, so watch this Athalia. So he avoids it. He avoids it because of the animation, I guess. I'm not sure exactly how that's intended to work. But yes, he does avoid it, which is pretty solid in my opinion. Or maybe he just got a lucky dodge on that one. But nonetheless, um, even if he gets hit... The, the, the weird thing was, I feel like the, the Athalia came in and hit him before he actually started his ult. So I might have to try that again. And, uh, and see how it plays out. So he's just died there by the looks of it and taken up the position of the clone. I, I do like it. It's just like, it's not quick enough. For high deficits, his his cheat death is too slow. Like he doesn't get into it quick enough uh, to make it, you know, strong enough in my opinion. But I'm curious to see the damage in a stage like this. Uh, as long as we don't get one shot by this Thorin, I'm very curious to see what the damage is. So there we go. We smack him. Okay, let's see. Let's check the damage out of curiosity. Honestly, honestly, not bad. Can do deeps. Can do deeps. And I think he's one of those ones where at higher deficits, uh, at lower deficits, he's going to shine a bit more. But honestly, that's pretty solid compared to a Grizzle. Um, like I said, it'll take more testing. But yeah, I, I think countering healers is definitely a thing. Um, and lower deficits, his cheat death is going to be amazing. But at these higher ones, a bit more of a struggle. Anyway, guys, I know I sort of repeated myself there. I just realized that. But um, let me know what you guys think. Still early days. I can test anything you guys want. So hit me up. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day. And I look forward to seeing the next one. Cheers.